I remember being brand new in Amazon Wholesale and telling myself, you know what, this is gonna be easy. I already know exactly what to do. I'm just gonna go after these major brands that everyone already knows. I'm gonna go after Adidas, Apple products, Nike, Under Armour, and I'm just gonna sell those major global brands. And then I asked myself, why doesn't everyone just do this? I must be the first person to think of this idea. I thought to myself. So I go onto Amazon and I go to list some of these major products and Amazon tells me, whoa there, you gotta get engated first. And before you get engated, you gotta find a legitimate supplier first. And we're also gonna need all of these other things to go along with it. And once you provide us with everything that we asked for, we're still gonna tell you no. Which is probably a similar scenario that you found yourself in at one point or another if you've been selling on Amazon. Because of that, my goal is to take you from beginner to expert with ungating in one single video. We're gonna cover everything that you need to know about ungating in this short video. So let's get into it. Hey, what's going on guys? Marvin here, welcome back to another video. So the first thing that we need to go over is what is being ungated or being gated on Amazon. Being gated simply means that this particular product brand or category that you wanna sell in has restrictions preventing newer sellers from selling it on Amazon. And being ungated means that Amazon has approved you to sell in these restricted products, brands, or categories. But Amazon didn't always have these restrictions in place. Back in the early days of selling on Amazon, you could sell whatever you wanted, whether it was your first day or your hundredth day on the platform, which naturally led to people abusing the platform and doing different shady things like selling counterfeit branded products, or even worse, listing branded products and then once a customer purchased, they never shipped anything out. Because of this, Amazon implemented Amazon's gating policy back in August of 2016 that prevented third-party sellers from selling certain brands on Amazon. As the policy evolved, they also started gating specific products, subcategories, and categories, all to increase their level of trust with their customers, which worked. Now, if you're a new seller on the platform, you may not be crazy about not being able to sell whatever you wanted in some of the more desirable categories or some of the more desirable desirable brands. You want to show up the first day and be able to sell whatever you want so you can make more money, right? But once you are a more seasoned seller on the Amazon platform, you're going to see that it's actually a great thing that Amazon has implemented because it's going to lead to less competition and more profit for you if you stick it out. A lot of new sellers who come onto the platform and aren't as serious about building this business often don't stick it out long enough to get engated in anything, which is beneficial for you if you do stick it out. But generally, the more barriers of entry that there are, the more opportunity there's going to be. But with that being said, keep in mind that there are still lots of brands, products, and categories that you can sell in to make money when you're just starting out. But being ungated in some of these other more desirable categories is definitely an advantage. All right, now let's cover the five different ways that you can be gated on Amazon. The first one being gated ASINs. This just means that Amazon has gated this specific ASIN from being sold by everyone. And if you're unfamiliar with what an ASIN is, an ASIN is just Amazon's unique identifier for their platform. ASIN stands for Amazon Standard Identification Number. And in order to get gated in a specific ASIN, sometimes you just need an invoice and sometimes you need a little bit more. Now, the second form of being gated is gated brands. This will most likely be the bigger brand names you know, Nike, Adidas, Lego, Disney, all of these bigger brands that you're most likely aware of. But it's not gonna be only exclusive to these bigger brands, it's also gonna be some of the smaller, lesser known brands that may be gated as well. And in order to get ungated in brands, you're gonna need an invoice from a manufacturer or a distributor. And it's not just as simple as just getting whatever invoice you can get your hands on and submitting it to Amazon. It's gonna need specific things included to make sure that you can get approved to sell that brand. Now, the third form of being gated is gated subcategories. Now on Amazon, there are categories and there are subcategories. Categories are like toys and games, beauty, and grocery. But within each of those categories, there are multiple subcategories and some of those subcategories will be gated. An example of this would be the toys and games category. The toys and games category is ungated to everyone, but the toys subcategory within that category is gated. Same thing with beauty. Beauty as a category is ungated, but topicals, which is a subcategory within that category, is gated. Now the fourth, which we just kind of briefly touched on, is gated categories. This is gonna be the entire category is gated unless you can meet Amazon's requirements and provide them with the documents that they need. And an example of this would be the grocery category. The grocery category is gated, and if you can get yourself ungated, it's gonna open a lot of doors for you. But if you get ungated in the category, does that automatically mean that you can sell 
everything within that category? And the answer to that is no. Even though you're ungated in the category, you may still need to apply to ungate in different brands, subcategories, or specific ASINs, but the category overall will be open to you. Now, the fifth and final form of being gated on Amazon is being gated and Amazon not taking applications at this time. This simply means that Amazon isn't taking applications right now and you're gonna have to try again to get gated later on in the year. Now that you understand the five different ways of being gated on Amazon, let's go over the three main ways to get ungated on the platform. The first one's gonna be paying to ungate. This means that you're gonna pay an ungating service to get you ungated in a specific subcategory or category and you're going to pay them their required fee to do that for you this can get very expensive very quickly especially if you're trying to get engaged in multiple different things all at the same time but my recommendation would be to really look into the company that you're going to use and make sure that they're a legitimate company before you invest any money with them the last thing that you want to do is use some new company or some shady company that promises all of these different things and ends up getting your account suspended all right so just make sure that you do your research and make sure the company is very reputable. Now, the second way to ungate on Amazon is the auto ungate. This means that when you go to apply to sell, where normally it would prompt you to provide different documents to Amazon, it's just gonna tell you, congratulations, you've been approved to sell this brand or this category or this subcategory. This is the easiest way to get ungated because it literally requires you to do nothing. You click a few buttons and then you're good to go. But the problem with this is that it comes with an undetermined time frame. A lot of people have theories of how long this is gonna take or how long you have to be selling on the platform or how much you have to sell on the platform. But what I found personally and by helping hundreds and hundreds of students is that this time frame varies greatly and it's not specific or black and white that as long as you sell for six months or one year, you're gonna get auto ungated on, on the majority of the things. I haven't found that it's been that simple. It varies greatly from account to account. So if you wanna wait to get ungated, and, and do it the auto ungating way, it's gonna take some patience and good seller metrics throughout that entire time frame. Now, the third way to get ungated is to ungate yourself. This means that you will need to provide Amazon with everything that they're asking for in order to get approved in that brand subcategory or category. And keep in mind, this is difficult by design. I've actually gone ahead and included a ungating blueprint within my course that shows my students how to ungate in topicals, toys, and grocery. It tells them exactly what supplier to go to, exactly what kind of products to get in order to get engaged their very first time. Students have taken this information and engaged themselves in $2,500 worth of brands and categories. So it's transferable, not just to those three main um, categories that I focus on, but you can transfer that same information and get engaged in a whole bunch of other things. And that $2,500 amount is what would have cost some of those students if they would have gone to an engaging service to engage them in everything. But I just included it in my course because I know how valuable it is and I know how big of an advantage you're gonna have if you're brand new on the platform and you can get engaged in some of these desirable categories. Now, if you wanna check out my course and see some of the results that we've produced and everything that's included, then just make sure you click the first link in the description. It'll tell you everything once you click on there. All right, now what do we need to do when we're applying to get engaged? Well, the first thing that you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need an invoice from a manufacturer or a distributor. And you're also gonna need to buy a combined amount of 10 units of the specific thing you wanna get ungated in. Now, when you buy these 10 units, you're gonna be given an invoice, and that invoice is what you're gonna to use to apply to Amazon. Now, you're gonna have a few different options when it comes to the actual units that you've ordered. You can ship them to yourself, or you can just ask your supplier to hold on to them while you apply to get ungated. If you ask them to hold on to them, you're gonna to need to ask them to send you the uh, invoice so that you can submit it to Amazon because without the invoice, you're not going to be able to apply to get engaged. But like I said earlier, you can't just submit whatever invoice you can get your hands on. You're going to need to have specific things that are included in that invoice, which is going to pop up on screen right now. So let's go over it. All right. So you're going to need at least one purchase invoice for products from a manufacturer or a distributor, and it's going to need to be dated on or after uh, this date, not this specific date, but whatever date you're applying, which is within 180 days of this application. You're gonna need to include your name and address that is matching your information in your selling account. You also need to include the name and address of the manufacturer or distributor, and you need to show the combined purchase of at least 10 units which we just went over. You can also tell them the pricing information for each one of those units, or you can just cross that information out. And then it tells you, please note that we may verify your submitted documentation by contacting product vendors you identify in your application. 
Then it tells you to drop files here. That is where you're gonna upload those files to. And then it's gonna give you an optional comments area down below, which we'll go over here in a little bit. Now, before you submit your invoice, make sure to double check what you're submitting. Double check and reference back to what is required to make sure that you have everything included the first time. The last thing you want is to apply, wait an extended period of time and get a rejection letter back from Amazon. You want to do everything right the first time to hopefully only have to do it once and get approved right away. Now, as far as how long it's going to take for you to get approved, it's really going to depend. It's going to depend on the time of year and what's going on the fastest i've ever gotten approved for an ungating application was within a couple of hours but if you're trying to ungate yourself in the middle of q4 which is the busiest time of year chances are it's going to take much longer for you to get that ungating application approved and sometimes you're going to submit these invoices and applications to amazon and you're going to think that you've provided absolutely everything that they've required and you're still going to get denied so because of that i'm going to go over a few simple things that you can try to troubleshoot that invoice and application to hopefully increase increase your chances of success. From my personal experience and from working with a lot of students, small changes is sometimes all it takes for you to get your application approved. And Amazon has gotten better about actually telling you why you're getting rejected and what you need to provide in order to get approved. Before it used to be just automated emails that were incredibly frustrating and wouldn't help whatsoever. I remember going back and forth with Amazon about this brand that I wanted to sell. And after a ton of different automated rejections and me continuing to press forward, finally somebody responded and they said that it was proprietary information and they didn't have to reveal why they rejected me. So because of different situations like that is what led me to trying so many different little changes on my invoices and actually getting success over time. And to this day, there hasn't been anything that I have applied for that I haven't had success in getting approved. All right, so we're troubleshooting your invoice, which is mainly gonna be what is getting rejected is whatever you submitted. So the first thing that you're gonna wanna look at is that the invoice isn't in an edible format. You can either print it out, scan it, and then submit it to Amazon, or you can just convert the file into a PDF to make sure that there's no way that it could be edited. That's number one. Number two is that you wanna make sure it's a finalized invoice. Don't submit a performa invoice or an invoice that isn't finalized that shows that you have made a payment for the goods. You wanna make sure that the invoice shows that the goods are paid for. If you don't, then you're probably gonna get rejected. Now, number three, and keep in mind, this is not an absolute, but the ship to and build to address match, which just means that your both ship to and build to addresses show the same address which matches your account on Amazon. That same situation where I told you I was going back and forth, back and forth with Amazon, this is what I finally did and it got my account approved right away or got my application approved right away and this is the only change that i made up until that point because i had made a bunch of different changes throughout the whole process because i've probably submitted the application probably five or six times and this was the one that finally got approved and since then i've done this a couple of other times and it's always worked keep in mind if you apply to get engaged and you provide amazon with everything that they're asking for chances are you're going to have a good chance of success but these things that i'm telling you are just different ways to troubleshoot those invoices to see if little tweaks will work. Again, sometimes the smallest little changes will trigger Amazon's system to actually get you approved. Now with this ship to and build to address match, you're not actually gonna ship it and, and bill it to the same place. You're gonna ship it to Amazon's warehouse, you're gonna ship it to a prep center, wherever you're gonna ship it to. But for the invoice sake, as far as going to get and gate and applying, they should match if you're getting rejected over and over again, okay? If you can submit it however you want, and if you get approved, fantastic, but if you're trying to submit it, you just keep getting rejected and rejected, just try making sure that the ship to and build to addresses match. Now, number four, we're gonna go over that optional comments. I always include my sales rep's name and contact information and I let Amazon know to feel free to contact my sales rep if he has any questions about the invoice or the orders or anything like that. Now I always include this because there's been multiple times where Amazon has actually reached out to my sales rep. Some people say that it's never happened to them but it's happened to me multiple times so I just make sure to always include that um, in my application to just get the ball rolling a little bit faster. If you don't wanna include that, that's completely fine. But I found that they have contacted my personal sales reps multiple different times, so I always include it from then on. Now the fifth and final thing that you can try is to just wait and apply later on. 
sometimes there doesn't need to be any changes made whatsoever but because amazon's operating off of systems and computers and robots and all these different things sometimes they're going to scan the application and give you an automatic denial because one thing or two things are matching up perfectly but it doesn't necessarily mean there's anything wrong with your application i've actually applied to get engaged got rejected waited a few hours applied again and got approved and i made literally no change to my invoice whatsoever so sometimes all it takes is just a little persistence and hopefully getting an actual human to review that application for you. But now you know everything that you need to know about getting ungated on Amazon. If you guys have any more questions about ungating, just make sure to leave them down below in the comment section and I'll make sure to answer them or put them in my next upcoming a Q&A. And again, guys, if you guys wanna get my ungating blueprint where I show you how to get ungated for some of the more desirable categories, it's included in the course on top of learning the entire business model to really speed up your learning curve, then just make sure to click that first link in the description. Now, if you guys are new to Amazon Wholesale and you guys wanna learn step by step Step exactly everything that you're going to need to do to get started then i want you guys to watch the video that's going to pop up on screen right now where i show you everything step by step completely for free in this video and with that being said i will see you guys in the next one